This guide shows you a, uh, a fairly close alternative to Xmarks, the uh, bookmark sinking facility that is closing at the end of April or may have already closed, depending on when it, whether you've when you watch this video. Um, it's not a direct replacement, admittedly, but it's close enough and I found it good enough for me. It syncs uh, my main browsers, which are Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. It won't do Edge. Um, as a bonus, it also syncs my um, iPad, Safari on my iPad as well. Uh, so it's pretty good from that from that like I say it's not an absolute direct replacement so please don't leave in the comments and say oh it's nothing like X marks because it isn't anything like X marks it, it does it does a lot of bookmark syncing but it's not a direct replacement but it's at the moment it's the closest way I can find to sync my bookmarks as X marks used to so give it a try if you want so first of all what we need to do is we need to have a uh, Apple account because it's uh, iCloud for Windows we need to download so if you don't have an Apple ID then you will need to open your browser and go to um, iCloud.com okay and once you're there you will need to uh, click on the button on the screen that basically says don't have an Apple ID create yours now so you click on that, you fill out the form, follow the instructions on the page and make sure you keep a record of the password uh, because if you lose it, you'll get locked out. So make sure you keep a record of, of that. If you already have an Apple ID, then what we can do is we can open up our browser and uh, we go to apple.com. And then we left click the magnifying glass and we type iCloud for Windows and then press the enter or return key on the keyboard. And as you can see here, download iCloud for Windows. So we left click the uh, little link, the HTTPS support.apple.com forward slash en dash us uh, forward slash HT204283. And then we left click the download button. And it says here, what do you want to do with iCloud setup.exe? And I left click run. Okay, so we let this download. This may take a little bit of time, just depends on your internet speed. The quicker your internet is, the quicker this should download. Um, but it may take a few seconds to download, so just let it download. Okay, so mine's nearly downloaded. It's just running a security scan and then it will say, do you want to run this file? So move your mouse over run and left click run. It's now starting to install. So, uh, yep, yeah, okay. So we accept the terms of the license agreement and left click install. Now it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? device? As long as it says iCloud and the verified publisher is Apple Inc, then it's okay to move our mouse over yes and left click yes. And it's now installing. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, this may take a few minutes, so just let it install. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the uh, installation. Okay, so it's still installing. And uh, again, it's asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So as long as it says iCloud and the verified publisher is Apple Inc, then move your mouse over yes and left click once on yes. And it continues to install. Okay, so it's now installed. So we move our mouse over finish and left click finish. Okay, so it says that we must restart the system for the configuration to make changes. So we make sure that anything that we may have opened on our computer is saved, closed down, and then we click yes. And uh, I'm gonna let the computer restart and we'll come back to this once the computer's restarted. Okay, so my computer's restarted and eventually this has appeared. So we need to type in our Apple ID, which is usually an email address and the password. Now the password, all Apple passwords need to have a capital letter in them. So uh, if you're not sure what it is, then uh, try one with a capital letter. If you can't remember it, then uh, you've got the option here to say, forgot Apple ID or password and follow the instructions on screen. 
So uh, I'm just going to type in my Apple ID and password. I'm just going to pause the video whilst I do this. Okay, so I've popped in my Apple ID and my password. I've blanked out the uh, the Apple ID for security reasons. So once I've done that, I move the mouse over sign in and left click sign in. And hopefully if it's accepted my password, there you go. It's sent a verification code to one of my devices. Now this may or may not happen. So if it does happen to you, go to your Apple device and there'll probably be a message on the screen saying Apple sign in requested. Um, do you want to allow or not allow? So I'm going to tap allow on there and it's asking me to pop in a code. So let's just do that. This is the code it's asked me to pop in. I've just blanked it out on the screen for security reasons. Okay, and I click continue after I've popped in the code. And it's saying, do you want to send diagnostic and usage information to Apple? No, I left click don't send on that. Now we've got options here of what we can sync. We can sync our iCloud Drive, our photos. I mean, for the purpose of this, I only want to sync with bookmarks. So I'm going to untick out, out iCloud Drive. I'm going to untick photos. Um, I'm going to leave bookmarks with Internet Explorer ticked. And if I left click options, we can also use bookmarks with Firefox and Chrome. So I'm going to tick those because I want both of those to be synced. OK, and then I left click the OK button and then I click apply. OK, so it says here iCloud bookmarks extension for Firefox is required. Download the extension to keep your Firefox bookmarks up to date with the Safari bookmarks on your phone, iPad and Mac. So I move my mouse over download and left click. Now, if you haven't ticked Firefox or you've already got the extension installed, then this won't appear. So uh, let's just see what happens. Firefox has now opened and it's brought me to this page here. So it's iCloud bookmarks by Apple Inc. So I move my mouse over add to Firefox and left click that once. And at the top of the screen it says add iCloud bookmarks. So I move my mouse over add and left click once. And it says iCloud bookmarks has been added to Firefox. So I move the mouse over OK and left click once. OK, so that's now installed. And hopefully my bookmarks between Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome and Safari on my iPad will all be synced together. So I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.